All right, so yet again, I've had people telling me I should look at today's Dortal, Cordal, and Octortal. Um, I'm starting to suspect maybe there's a conspiracy uh, where every day a different group of people are going to go in and tell me I need to do today's Dortal, Cordal, and Octortal so that way I'll do them every day. Um, but I don't know. I think there's just always interesting words no matter what. So um, now I did, uh, my wife and I have been looking at uh, three word starts. We had crash, flout, and eyeing that we were doing the other day. and. Um, we decided we, we wanted to have an E at the end, which the original idea um, was she wanted to do something with the word flute Because we thought it would be good because the F is a common letter at the beginning, E is a common letter at the end So we played around with the letters some more and we've come up with flute and cairn Which is like a little stack of rocks that you often have along hiking paths and stuff And then showy so that's what we decided we're gonna try, see how it goes. So the W is probably the weak letter in that whole thing, but otherwise I think it's pretty good. And W's not too bad. Um, we have F, C, and S at the beginning, which are common places for those letters. E at the end, Y at the end. We've got all the vowels, we've got all the Wheel of Fortune letters. The H in the second position is good. Um, so I think that's a pretty good one. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna use it a few times and see what happens. So, uh, interesting, over here, um, I mean, I want to do U-S-H. Oh, actually, what about what about something like pushy? Could also be mushy. Uh, I think pushy and mushy. Mm, hussy is also possible. Or maybe hushy. I'm not sure if that's a word or not. And over here, we don't have much at all. We've got uh, just the A and the N. Now, it only has A's. So it could have more than one A, something like, uh, uh, you know, something A-N-A. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I would say N-G, but, oh, it could be like manga. That would work. Hmm. Now that would also help us over here if this is potentially mushy. So let's try manga. It's not manga. Okay. But we do have three greens now, so uh, panda would work. Panda would work. Hmm. And again, potentially pushy over here, so let's try panda. Okay, it was panda, and it's not pushy, and it's not mushy, so I think it's gotta be maybe hussy. Could that be it? I mean, okay, if it's, if it's U-S-H-Y, bushy, bushy would work too. That might be better. All right, I'm gonna try that one. Okay, it was bushy. All right, interesting, so bushy and panda. All right, now we're gonna move on to the chordal. All right, so we're on to the chordal now. Um, a lot of times I will reuse the answers from the previous puzzle, but today I'm gonna keep using the flute, cairn, and showy just because I wanna try them out and see how well they work, so. Flute and cairn and showy. Up here, I mean, I, I think taunt seems good. Ooh, it's not taunt, but it is aunt, so it could be gaunt. Gaunt seems most likely up there now. Um, let's look down here. Oh, this has got to be third, right? Third. Yeah, okay, third. Um, which, ugh, I wish I had done third first. If I'd looked around, I should have done third first, because that would have checked the T at the beginning, and I wouldn't have guessed taunt. Because I had the H-I-R and the T, I probably would have done... I probably would have done third. Oh, well. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Alright, ending in R-T. There's not an E at the end, but there is an E. Actually, it's only E's, too. So... Um, something like exert would be good. Otherwise, I think... it's. I think exert, if it's E and E in the first and third... Otherwise, you'd have to have two E's, probably. No, I think exert. Let's try exert. It is exert. Okay, good. Um, and this one down here, we just really don't have much at all. Okay, I'm gonna do gaunt, because I think that's right. There we go. Oh, and that, oh, that was helpful, because look, we got the G. So, G, E, A, no, the R has to be... Here? Oh, we don't have another. We don't necessarily have another E. Oh, we, in fact, we don't have another E for sure because we guessed two E's here. So the only E is at the end. So 
grave. It could be grave. It could be grape. Hmm. Okay, grave or grape is what I'm thinking. Or graze. Hmm, this could be a problem. Okay, and if the R is not second, then the R is third, which then means the A has to be fourth. So that's not gonna work. So it's gotta be grave, grape, or graze, I think. So, I need to do a word with at least two of V, Z, and P. All three would be great. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come up with a word with all three of them. I mean, we could do something like pivot, which has the P and the V. Because if it's not grave or grape, then I think it has to be graze. Let's go with pivot. Okay, it's a P, so it's grape. Grape, there we go. All right, cool. So that was the chordal, gaunt, grape, exert, and third. I'll put the definition of gaunt on the screen over there. That might be one that people are unfamiliar with, so. Um, gaunt means like, uh, well, like I said, I'll put the definition on the screen, but it means like, I want to say it's like if someone is really thin and like unhealthily thin would be gaunt, but that might not be exactly right. So look over there. All right. Now we're going to move on to the octordal. All right. We are on to the octordal now. So we're going to go with flute and cairn and show. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> cairn was one of the words. Well, that worked out well. Uh, <laughs> and two of them, look at this, two of them have S, H, and Y. Oh, wow. Okay, well this was a very good start for this particular puzzle. Um, that doesn't mean it's always gonna be that way. Ooh, this one here, uh, could this be cock? I think it probably is. Okay, cock. This is, um, oh, what's, oh, it's gotta be shyly. I was gonna say, how does it, it has to have a vowel, but we don't have any vowels, but we have the Y, so shyly. And this one over here is shaky, and now oh, we just got, this is F-A, it could be fancy or fanny. I think it's one of those two. This is gonna be guys, maybe? I think that would be good. Guys, this here has a C and an O, but, so something O-I, C-E, voice, voice, it could be noise. No, it's not noise, it's voice. This is probably R-E-Y, but the only vowels we have are E's and Y's. So maybe not, hmm, or something E-R, D-Y, nerdy? No, we don't have an N, reedy? Reedy would work. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. If it's E-R, you know, like Jeremy, but we don't have a G. I think maybe it's Reedy. Reedy would work. Let's do Reedy. Okay, it's Reedy. So over here, we've got two options. It's Fanny or Fancy, but we've got four guesses. So, I mean, we might as well just go for it, right? Let's, oh, there's no C. Oh, we guessed a C with voice. Okay, so now we know it's Fanny. Boom, there we go. That might be one of my fastest octortals yet. So it helped a lot that one of my three starting words was one of the answers, uh, which will happen once in a while, so that's pretty interesting. Um, and I imagine Cairn is probably a word that people may have had a hard time with. Um, cock is one that I know people have a hard time with when that was the answer for the wordle. I know a lot of people had a hard time with it. Uh, reedy is probably maybe unfamiliar to some people. I don't know, maybe guys. I'm not sure which ones people, I'll, I'll put all those on over there, both of those definitions over there in case you don't know them, but I think people know most of these, so. Anyways, there you go. That was today's Dordal, Cordal, and Octordal. Um, let me know how you did with these and which words you had the hardest time with and what you think of the three word start that my wife and I came up with. And be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Mocha. I like that guess. Oh, it's Mocha. And the A is green over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, ooh, you know what we could do? Khaki, that would be really good with a double K. If the O isn't second, it has to be last, but that seems less likely. So C-O something S-E. Uh, oh, Barcelona, we're in Barcelona. Okay, so we are in Spain, there you go.